Next question, um, what did you do for your first customer as, um, as far as fulfillment goes? And how did you handle the first few customers different than your customers today? Um, so I think that there's a lot of things that we've handled differently, but the kind of like the why and the mission behind it has always been the same, and that's to help people share their expertise. Um, so with our first customer, um, there was a lot of things that were different. I mean, at first we had um, the idea that the customer would write the entire article on their own and that we would just do a little quick edit and send it onto the publication. Um, now we've realized that most of our clients are not um, writers, they're entrepreneurs. And so while they have the expertise, if writing isn't their strongest skill set, it doesn't make sense for us to try to force them to do something that's outside of their skill set. So now we have a process with writers where we um, we work with them to understand their strategy. We figure out article topics that are going to educate their customer base and really fit with the publication um, that we think would be best for them to get published on. But then we develop a topic and we send them four to five questions around that topic. So the client is giving us you know, their expertise, their personality, their little personal anecdotes, but it's all um, being put together and finally crafted by our team of writers. So that way we know that it's being perfectly polished um, while maintaining that client's voice and the client is able to approve it before it goes on to publication. But that was a huge change that we made from early on. And it's really interesting to see kind of how we've gone through the process, the little tweaks that we've made along the way, and thinking back to you know when the company first started, um, if we wouldn't have made these changes, it's really kind of crazy to think of where things could be. Um, so with any company, I think that there's going to be you know some small changes and some large pivots along the way. But if you maintain the same why and you maintain the same mission behind it, um, it's really easy to understand kind of the alignment of if those changes are making sense for your company.